Usually we don't get unanimous agreement, but I'm pretty sure that most of us would agree that the idea is to not to have to pay a claim, not to have a claim filed against your surety bond. But in this business, claims happen. And when they do happen, we need to be prepared for that as freight brokers by having a $75,000 surety bond. And not only do we need to have a surety bond, we need to have a provider that understands the surety bond process, the claim process. And if you're anything like me, when you first got started, you really didn't pay a whole lot of attention to who you chose as the provider. You were more concerned with saying, hey, I'm just interested in getting a provider that will give me a $75,000 surety bond and will give it to me at a price that is not very, very expensive, a price that is affordable, right? Exactly, just like me when I first got started. So with that said, I wanna to talk to you today about something that you should look a little bit more into, and that is who your surety bond provider is. Because one day, a claim may happen, and when that claim does happen, you wanna be prepared for that by having the right surety bond provider, because that's gonna make a big difference. Because not all surety bond providers are equal. So in today's video, I'll share with you who my surety bond provider is, the number one benefit you get when you choose the right surety bond provider, and the consequences of choosing the wrong surety bond provider. So come on inside, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Now let's get into the business. So sometimes people refer to a surety bond as being similar to insurance. But when we really start to look at a surety bond, it's really not like insurance. It's more like a line of credit when we really start to look at it. Say for example, you were in your car and you got hit by someone else, no fault of your own, and you were paying X amount of dollars per month for your insurance. And then the claims folks came in and they said, hey, it's gonna take about $5,000 to fix your car. Well, they'll come in and write you a check or write the lien company a check for that $5,000 and get your car fixed through whatever um, body shop you decide to go through. And then you don't have to come back and pay the insurance anything after they've paid that $5,000. You just keep paying your regular monthly payment. Well, it's a little bit different on the freight broker surety bond side of the house. When someone, whether it's a shipper or a carrier, files a claim against your bond, what happens is the surety bond company decides whether they're gonna pay that claim or not. And when they go ahead and pay that claim, if that's what they decide to do, then guess who's responsible for coming back and paying the surety bond whatever amount of money they paid for that claim? You are. And you might say, you might ask a great question, Brandon, why would I have to pay the surety bond company back if I'm already paying a premium every year? Well, you may be paying $900, $1,000, $2,000, or $3,000 per year for your surety bond. But if a claim happens, that could be $15,000, $20,000. And the surety bond company doesn't know whether, how long you're gonna be in business so that they can keep recouping their money. They're going to make you pay that money back to make sure that they get their money. So make sure you're looking at the clauses within your contract to know what happens when surety bonds pay out claims. Let's just say they paid $20,000 out for a freight claim. What are your responsibilities? How do you have to pay the company back? Do you have to come in and make a one-time payment of $20,000 or do you have to make that payment over time? If you don't know that, then you need to look into your contract. You need to talk to your bond representative to find out what happens when claims happen. The freight broker surety bond is an insurance for your carrier or your shipper, the person that files a claim against your bond. Not really insurance for you as a freight broker. So what do I mean when I say a good bond provider or the right bond provider? In my opinion, a bond provider is one who will pay claims when necessary, but also will evaluate the process to make sure a claim should be paid. Because what you have to understand when a claim is filed, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are at fault and you should have to pay. Because ultimately, remember, you have to pay the bonding company back. So you want a bonding company that comes in and says, wait a minute, let me take a look at the facts, evaluate this thing to make sure that Alliance Logistics or your company is even responsible for having to pay this claim. And then if you are responsible, then they'll go ahead and pay that claim. But it's important to have that type of team member to evaluate the process to make sure that everything is lined up because we don't know all of the ins and outs when it comes to a claim. So a good bond provider will help you to avoid having to pay 
unnecessary claims. And if you remember at the front of this video, we did agree that the idea is not to have to pay claims. So how do you not pay claims? Well, part of that is making sure that there is a legitimate claim from the onset. And again, your surety bond provider will help with that. So the number one benefit, in my opinion, of a good surety bond provider, the right surety bond provider, is that they're going to do the research, they're going to evaluate the situation, evaluate the facts before they pay a claim. That way, you don't have to pay unnecessary claims. And the consequences for choosing the wrong freight broker surety bond provider are plenty. But one obvious consequence is it leaves you on the hook for the bill. And don't forget, more than likely, you signed an indemnity agreement when you got your surety bond. And what an indemnity agreement is, is basically saying that you don't hold the surety bond company liable for any losses. You're going to make up for those losses. You're going to pay those losses. So you need to read through this indemnity agreement very carefully to make sure that you understand it. You also might find that they're going to require that your spouse signs this indemnity agreement as well. So you'll be on the hook and your spouse will be on the hook for this particular contract. So read it to understand it before you sign it. So when I'm choosing a bond provider, I want a bond company that has been in business for a long period of time, a long standing reputation, somebody that understands the bonding process, makes it easy for us to sign up with them and explains how it works, how claims works. That way we have a really good understanding of what happens when a claim is actually filed against a bond. You need a company that has the resources in place to sit down and talk with you and explain that to you, answer the questions that you have and reference your bond. So now I use a company called JW Surety Bond. I've been very happy with JW Surety Bond over the last two years. It's a company that I would definitely recommend. Very professional and you're gonna have a representative over there that that's going to help you sign on and understand the process. My representative over at JW Surety Bond, who I highly recommend that you give a call if you're interested in getting a surety bond shop because she's gonna take care of you, make sure that you're squared away, make sure that you understand the process. Her name is Kimberly Lightcap. Her number is 267-362-4934. Again, that number is 267-362-4934. 362-4934. Make sure that you let her know that Brandon over there, Alliance Logistics sent you, and I'm also gonna leave you her email address in the description. So now one of the main reasons why I recommend that you at least have a conversation with Kimberly Lightcap over at JW Surety Bond, especially if you're looking for a surety bond, is because JW Surety Bond is the number one provider throughout the nation when it comes to volume. The next thing is, is that JW Surety Bond is definitely going to give you a competitive price if you have decent credit. My bond currently costs me about $940 per year. So how I see it is when you have the number one surety bond provider by volume in the nation, a very reputable surety bond company, and then you're going to get a great price, a very competitive price if you have decent credit, then it's a no-brainer to talk with that surety bond provider. Also, what I want you to be mindful of when it comes to the rate that you pay for your surety bond is it's not just dependent on credit, it's also dependent on how many years you've had in the business, if you've had any claims filed against a bond before, and different things such as that. So I wouldn't necessarily expect to get a $900 rate if I only got one or two years in the business. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I certainly hope this information has been helpful. If you want to learn more about the freight broker business, I'm going to leave a link in the description. It's my free five video series titled How the Load Movement Process Works. It'll give you a chance to come into my office and watch over my shoulder as I move loads, talk to shippers, talk to carriers. That way you can get a really good idea of exactly how the business works before you come into it. And then if you're interested in talking to somebody about your freight broker surety bond, I'm leaving Kimberly Lightcaps information within the description. Last but not least, one of the toughest things that we have to grapple with when we first get started is figuring out how to get shippers. So I'm going to leave you a free video where I'm showing you exactly how we find the shippers that we work with. So until the next time, I wish you the very best in your life and business. See you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.